Bezos is here. Oh, Jeff Bezos. Wow, great actor. <laughs> Jeff Bezos is so rich. He got divorced, and he's still the richest man in the world. I'm Jeff Bezos. And what, are you, what is your claim to fame? <laughs> I'm the founder of Amazon.com. Biography of Jeff Bezos, a big billionaire from a completely ordinary family. Jeff Bezos was the richest person in the world from 2018 to 2021. But in 2022 and 2023, Elon Musk stole the ball from him and became the richest person in the world. The important thing about Jeff Bezos is that his family was by no means rich and wealthy and he was able to reach this position only by relying on his own knowledge and skills. Therefore his life story is readable and beautiful. In the following we will examine the biography of Jeff Bezos, the richest person in the world in the years 2018 to 2021. Jeff Bezos childhood the era that was accompanied by the separation of parents. Jeff was born on January 12, 1964 in Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. His father, Ted Jorgensen, owned a bicycle shop. Unfortunately, his parents did not have a good life together and when Jeff was a baby, they decided to separate and eventually did. When Jeff was no more than five years old, his mother married a Cuban immigrant named Mike Bezos because of their many problems. Mike had immigrated to America to study. After marriage, she adopted Jeff Jorgensen and changed his last name from Jorgensen to Bezos. Jeff Bezos Adolescence and University Jeff Bezos College Degree Jeff was an honor student in elementary and high school. And unlike many rich people who have nothing to say academically, he left the school with honors and entered Princeton University. At first, he studied physics at the university, but he was not interested in this field and changed his field to computer science. His academic success continued during university and he was able to graduate in two fields of extra engineering and computer science. Jeff was among the distinguished students in the university and his parents were proud of him. It is interesting to know that Jeff Bezos founded the Dream Institute while in high school. The school organized an educational and recreational camp for students. In these camps, students learn to be creative and think freely. Where did Jeff Bezos start? From an employee in different companies. After graduating from university, Jeff Bezos entered the startup business in the field of telecommunication and increased his knowledge in computer and electrical engineering. Then he entered the financial field and worked in Bankers Trust Group. He worked in this company for two years and increased his financial knowledge. In 1990, he went to the investment bank D.E. Shaw & Co. and became the senior vice president of this group. In this series, Bezos was studying people's use of the internet and realized that the amount of people using the internet had increased significantly. Four years went by like this until Jeff Bezos decided to give up his extraordinary situation and start his online bookstore in his garage. In fact, in response to the question, where did Jeff Bezos start, it can be said that he started his online business from his garage. He named his bookstore Amazon. The first 30 days, Amazon's best days. Amazon was able to experience good sales in the first 30 days of its launch. They didn't advertise, but they were able to sell their books in America and 45 other countries. Not even two months had passed when it, the sales of the site reached more than $20,000 a week, which was really strange and everyone was amazed. Market development in 1998, an action that changed the fate of Amazon. It was in 1998 that Jeff Bezos realized that he had to offer and sell other products on Amazon. Gradually, they added CDs, toys, videos, 
electronics and few other items to Amazon and Amazon sells sword. In 1998, Amazon's revenue was so high that Jeff decided to buy other businesses and add it to Amazon. In the same year, it bought the IMDb website, the following year Alexa and in 2007, it bought the DP review collection and turned it into Amazon subcategories. It was 2007 when Jeff Bezos unveiled Kindle, Amazon's first e-reader, and invested in the space travel business, Blue Origin. In 2011, Amazon unveiled Kindle Fire, the first tablet. Amazon's situation was getting better day by day, and it is still in the same situation. In 2013, he decided to buy a personal media with his own money. That's why he bought the Washington Post newspaper for $250 million. He has a special interest in branding and believes that the secret to wealth creation and success in today's world is branding. There is a famous saying that always says your brand is what people say about you when you walk out of the room. A series of issues about the personal life of Jeff Bezos. Many people are curious about the personal life of Jeff Bezos and other self-made people and would like to know more about these people. In the rest of this part of the video, we will mention topics about the personal life of Jeff Bezos. What is the religion of Jeff Bezos? So far, Jeff Bezos has not commented on his religion, but his marriage documents show that he is a Catholic Christian. Some people have speculated that his parents are Christian and that his godfather is also a follower of the Roman Catholic religion. Not long ago, some website announced that the, he is Jewish, but one of the former Amazon employees responded to the claim that Jeff Bezos is definitely not Jewish. Currently, the exact religion of the Amazon CEO Jeff Bezos is not known. Information about his wife and children of Jeff Bezos. How many children does Jeff Bezos have? Jeff Bezos married American novelist Mackenzie Scott in 1993. Their marriage continued until 2019 and they finally separated. Mackenzie in all stages of ideation. After the separation of these two people, many websites tried to discover the reason behind the separation of Jeff Bezos from his wife. After some time, it became known that Jeff Bezos had a relationship with Lauren Sanchez, who is a TV host. Jeff and Lauren Sanchez are still in a relationship. In response to the question of how many children Jeff Bezos has, we must say that he and his ex-wife Mackenzie have three sons and one daughter. Evidence shows that their daughter is their adopted child. How much is Jeff Bezos worth? Assets of Jeff Bezos in 2023. Currently, we must look at the list of the richest people in the world in 2023. We find that Jeff Bezos has taken the third place with a fortune of $150.8 billion. The wealth of Jeff Bezos in two months is about $7,540,000 billion two months. 7,540 hemmat or 7.54 million billion two months. According to studies, Jeff Bezos' income in 2023 is 246 million dollars per day, 5.4 billion dollars per month, and 64 billion dollar per year. In fact, Jeff Bezos is worth. 12,300 billion two months, 12.3 thousand billion two months every day. Jeff Bezos book and documentary, a way to get to know him better. A few years ago, a book was published about the life and sinking of Jeff Bezos. This book is called Jeff Bezos Brand Credit and it is written by Junior McGregor. Jeff Bezos book, The Credit of a Brand has been translated into Farsi and you can buy it from bookstores. So far a documentary has been made about Jeff Bezos. 
The documentary of Jeff Bezos is made in a series of documentaries titled Technology Billionaires. This documentary also has Persian dubbing and you can watch it on the available sites. Some motivational quotes from Jeff Bezos. In the continuation of this part of this video, we decide to read some motivational sentences of Jeff Bezos together. Do something you are passionate about. Never follow the enthusiasm of others. Ultimately, we will become our choices, so make a great story. At Amazon, we have three big ideas that we have stuck to for 18 years, and that is the reason of our success. The first idea, priority is with the customer. Second idea, be creative. Third idea, be patient. If you don't want to be criticized ever, for God's sake, don't do anything. If you can't handle critics, then you'll never be able to do something new and interesting. If you create a great experience for your customers, they will undoubtedly talk about it. And don't forget that word of mouth is very powerful. Big things always start from a something small. The biggest oaks are made from a small oak. You have to take care of a small sapling to grow into a big tree. If you understand this, you can start your own big business. Lessons from Jeff Bezos for success in life and business. In the first part of this video, we talked about the stages that Bezos went through in life and business. Now we are going to discuss some of the lessons that can be learned from his life and business. 1. You need tenacity and flexibility to succeed. One of the important lessons that Master Jeff Bezos gave us is that in order to achieve success, you must have a stubborn and flexible personality. He says, at Amazon, we're stubborn when it comes to vision and flexible when it comes to details and tactics. Remember that in business, if you are not stubborn, you will give up very quickly. And if you are not flexible and face failure somewhere, you will not be willing to try other solutions to solve the problem somehow. One of the things about entrepreneurs is that they are usually tough and strong leaders and try to be responsible as much as they can. But a good entrepreneur is someone who is flexible. The flexible entrepreneur understands the meaning of leadership very well. 2. Follow the rule of two pizzas. The two pizza rule is one of the rules that Jeff Bezos suggests to businesses. He believes that try to divide employees into work groups. However, these working groups should be such that each group can be satisfied with two pizzas. In other words, five to seven people are enough in each group. Experience and studies show that when the number of these people in group increases, the productivity of people decreases surprisingly. A decrease in efficiency causes the output of the group to drop and people energy to be wasted. So keep the teams small and see the results. This is one of the lessons that Jeff Bezos tries to follow in Amazon and he got good results from it. Therefore you also feel that the productivity in your business is not as it should be. Maybe it is not bad to apply the law of two pizzas. 3. Regret Minimization Framework One of the framework that Bezos defined for himself is a framework called Minimizing Regrets. The concept is Jeff Bezos imagining himself at 80 years old and seeing what thing he regrets not doing at that age. For example, before starting Amazon, he thought that if I am 80 years old, will I regret starting internet business? His answer to this question was yes. That's why he started his work. When he started this internet business, he was at the peak of his income and progress in financial companies. But he decided to do this in order to minimize the regrets. So he left his previous job and tried to start Amazon. Perhaps one of the best strategies for our growth and development is to imagine ourselves at the age of 80 and see what we regret at that time. That we could have done but did not do because of laziness or anything else. Try to minimize your regrets in old age. 4. Take invention and innovation seriously. One of the important secrets that Jeff Bezos likes to tell us all is to try to be the first person to achieve something in the world. 
Of course, what you invent must meet the needs of people. Invention and innovation are really important and will make your income increase amazingly. If your product can solve a need, you will quickly become a national and even global brand. Of course, invention and innovation is not an easy task. You may need to try something thousands of times. Consider that you may fail thousands of times. An innovative person must be patient and enthusiastic person and be able to be patient in the face of failures in order to win in the end. 5. Learn the right way to make money. Basil said that many people think that Amazon has reached its level of growth and development by selling its product. But this view is wrong. Amazon's strength is in, in the recommendation engine. By reviewing various products, we provide the customer with the opportunity to choose with an open mind. Jeff Bezos says we do not make money by buying products. Our income comes when we give the customer the power to make decisions and choose. 6. The customer is always right. One of the reasons why Amazon has grown so much and met Jeff Bezos the richest person in the world is the belief that the customer always comes first. Giving priority to the customer and paying attention to his wishes and needs is one of the most important factors that lead to the growth of your business and can multiply your income. Jeff Bezos knew from the beginning that customers were looking for low prices and faster shipping, so he focused on meeting the needs of the customer. Some experts in the field of entrepreneurship believe that in order to grow a business, you need to treat customers the way you want to be treated. 7. Be critical. Criticism can often show you the gaps, cracks, unevenness and wrong places in your business. When you are critical, different people can give you suggestions that some of these suggestions will have the ability to transform your business and can increase your income several times. Therefore, being critical is one of the important keys that you can use to transform your business. 8. Passion is one of the important elements of your success. If you pay attention to the life of Jeff Bezos, you will see that he loved computers all his life and finally tried to advance his business using the internet. He loved his work so much that he was willing to pay the price for this love and passion and finally he succeeded in starting a very profitable internet business. And he still pursues this career field with great enthusiasm. Always try to get into the field you are interested in. If there is no love and interest, be sure that one day you will get tired and you will not want to continue. If you are interested in your work, you may get tired. But when this fatigue is removed, you will return to the field with great enthusiasm and create surprises. Amazing facts you never knew before. 1. He wasn't named Jeff Bezos in the first place. Yes, you read it right. Of course, this truth is not as strange as it seems. Jeff Bezos' real name is Jeffrey Pretson Jorgensen. His real father was John Jorgensen, who left Bezos' mother a year after their marriage. His mother also married Miguel Bezos and he adopted four-year-old Jeff. 2. A curious and innovative person who likes to do everything alone. From the age of 3, Bezos liked to sleep in a normal bed instead of sleeping in a crib. But when his parents objected to his wish, he used a screwdriver to kill the crib and turned it into a regular bed. As a child, he made funny and very practical things and once he made the bell to prevent his siblings from entering the room. Just like Dexter's laboratory, Bezos also had a small laboratory in his garage to safely conduct his experiments. 3. He became vice president at the age of 26. After graduating from Princeton, Bezos worked at a company called Fittel. After the company was sold, he worked with Bankers Trust Company, and then he was hired by DE to work at an investment management company, Shaw Income. As the youngest vice president at the age of 26, Bezos worked there for several years and continued to work at the company until 
1995 when he left his job to found Amazon. 4. The Amazon business plan was spilled in the car while traveling. Many people spend a lot of time writing a business plan to implement their startup ideas, but Bezos was able to write Amazon's business plan in a short trip from New York to Seattle. 5. The company name was supposed to be Kadabra, not Amazon. Amazon was not Bezos' first choice for the name of his e-commerce website. He wanted to name the company Kadabra after the phrase Abracadabra that magicians use during the magic tricks. But his lawyer told him that the name was so similar to Cadaver which means dead body. Therefore Bezos had to choose the second option he had in mind for the name of his company. 6. Law of two pizzas Bezos has a hypothesis that if you need more than two pizzas to feed the people present in a business meeting, your team is too big and you cannot operate with maximum efficiency. He believes that people in small groups are able to express their ideas more easily and in such a team everyone has the opportunity to be heard. This way of thinking is very popular and many companies use it. Steve Jobs also had this belief about groups and usually the powerful minds of the technology world have similar thoughts. 7. He is very fond of investment. Jeff Bezos is the CEO and founder of Amazon, but he knows well how to play with money and capital. Bezos invested in Google about two decades ago, when it was not yet an internet giant, and his stake in the company is more than $2 billion. Apart from Google, he has invested in other companies like Airbnb, Uber, and even Twitter. In 2013, Jeff Bezos bought the Washington Post for $250 million, and right after this action, the payment limit was removed from the website and the articles were made available to users online without any cost. 8. His salary is lower than the salary of the highest ranking employee of Amazon. After Steve Jobs returned to Apple, he took $1 as his salary. Bezos receives more money, but his salary is relatively low considering his position and is about $82,000 annually. This figure is even lower than the salary of Amazon's highest ranking employee, Andrew Jassy, who manages Amazon's web services. 9. Making the right and appropriate decision Bezos believes in the written word and forces his employees to write down their ideas and proposals. He is a strong encourager of creative thinking and helps employees to work better. 10. Life plan forever Bezos survived death twice. The first incident occurred in 2001 in Seattle and an earthquake with a magnitude of 6.9 occurred and in this incident a 20 pound tungsten bell was launched towards him. But Bezos immediately ran under the table and was saved. In 2003, a helicopter that Bezos was in crashed. Bezos was very lucky and was able to escape from this building with only a few wounds and bruises. He gives a high price to, to his life and is one of the most popular investors of Unity Biotechnology, who likes to extend human life forever. He likes to be always flowing like the river he chose for the name of Amazon and to keep moving and trying.